All right, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Sean Kanoi. I do speaker videos and also adventure vlogs and other fun videos with my roommates. I've made several music and sound speaker videos in the past. You can check them out up here. And I hope you enjoy this video, which is all of your amplifier settings explained. I've also made a Kenwood stereo settings explained, which I'll leave a link in the description or somewhere up there. But you can check out all of my sound and speaker videos and let's get ahead with this one, which I've gotten a lot of questions on, is amplifier sound settings uh, and what they do. So I've had this set up for a while. This is my Alpine V-Power amplifier and my power cap over here. This stuff I actually came with the Jeep when I bought it. It was hooked up to a fitted subwoofer system in the back and also wired to all of the speakers already. Since then I've kept all the electronics and I've upgraded these speakers and kept the other speakers how they were. Uh, they're still connected to all the speakers, but I've since taken the subwoofer out since I've lived in the Jeep uh, and had to take it out for space reasons. So on this side here, you have both your channels and the filter crossover and gain settings for each channel, as well as on the channel three and four, you have your bass EQ switch on that side. So the channel one and two covers the actual speakers in the front and the channel three and four encapsulates the subwoofers. So some of these settings were also in the head unit settings. Um, one of these, filter, you might recognize. The switch is set to off right now, but there's also high pass and low pass. The frequency filters enables a certain frequency to pass through as sound. So uh, your high pass filter will allow only high frequency sounds through your speakers. The low pass filter will allow the low frequency sounds through your speakers. So for a subwoofer, you will want your switch, your filter switch to be on LP, which is low pass, because then your bass range frequencies will pass through to your subwoofer and not all of the other music that will go through your normal speakers. So the reason why my filter is set to off is because I'm letting all of the sound go through to the speakers. Those are my mid-range speakers, which has the high and low frequencies. All right, so moving on from the filters, you can see the crossover for channel one and two is right around 100. I try to put it at around 80. That's pretty common for most systems. Crossover basically controls your filters, so it kind of allows the hertz that you have selected to pass through your speakers and quiets down the frequencies that are above and below. All right, so gain is very important for your sound quality because it really controls the amount of power that goes to your amp and the amount of sound that comes out of your speakers. And so to help kind of explain kind of more what this does is uh, I went to Garmin.com. It says that the gain control determines how far you have to increase your volume on your source, which would be your head unit, in order to reach full power on your amplifier. So to set your gain properly, you wanna turn up your volume on your head unit to almost as high as it will go, while your gain on your amplifier is set as low as it will go. And then you wanna slowly increase your gain until your speakers start getting distorted. And right at that point is when you should stop your gain. So that's where mine is at, uh, maybe like a quarter of the way up a little bit more and it's worked for me so on the other channel you have your filter again your crossover again your gain again and then your bass EQ which right now you can see mine is set to on this literally just determines whether or not these knobs change anything so if it's on then these do something if it's off then these don't do anything so if you have a different amplifier you might have more switches on the other side but on mine that's all the controls that i have so if you found that video helpful please leave a like and subscribe because i'll have more videos coming you can also check out all of my speaker and sound videos i have a video called how to make your speakers sound better uh, i actually have a few videos that are uh, close to that title and it's just a bunch of tips on how to Im improve your sound quality in your car so if you guys enjoyed Please leave a like. So the amplifier settings, uh, they can be a little scary because a lot of people don't really know what everything does, but it's just a few settings. If you get them down and if you know them, then they're really easy to control and easy to make your sound quality as good as it can be. So thank you guys and see you in the next one. Peace.